So, all your friends have called it quits on Tarkov. Or perhaps you went solo once and got destroyed immediately. Too scared to try again. Well, don't worry. I've been in this situation not too long ago. After mustering the courage to play solo, I figured out that Tarkov can offer a much better experience flying solo than in a squad. However, before diving into a solo, it's crucial to adopt the right mindset. You need to understand that death is an integral part of the game. It's a cycle of Tarkov. Yet, perseverance is key. Death in Tarkov is inescapable, and that's okay. Just remember to learn from every setback and soldier on. Now, armed with the right mindset and equipped with this understanding, you're ready to embark on your solo journey. In that case, I would like to demonstrate the most effective methods I've discovered for overcoming solo anxiety in Tarkov by showing some raids. The first raid I went on is Shoreline. My objective was clear, to seek out PvP. Setting a goal prior to entering a raid, whether it's engaging in combat or completing specific tasks, is crucial. As gunfire echoed near Scav Island, I went over there to check it out. I spotted three players en route to extraction, so I made the decision to engage and attempt to take them out. I fumbled some of my shots, indicating that I had to pace myself and slow down on the shots that I'm taking. Now that the fight is over, I claim the spoils for myself. I urge you guys to observe how I approached that fight. Despite my less than perfect aim, I opted for a slower playstyle and maintained distance from them. By picking them off one by one, I caught them off guard. Additionally, a suppressor and my gun aided in concealing my position, leaving them clueless as to my whereabouts. Unfortunately, not every raid unfolds as smoothly as the previous one. Take this next example in Customs, where I started getting shot at by a dude in Crack House, forcing us into a close quarters confrontation near the dumpsters. While not an ideal situation, I had to adapt to the situation I was in. Using my shotgun and ample supply of shells, I tried a more aggressive stance. I tried tactics like suppressing him to cause confusion and to get into his head. He eventually pushed me. Like I said, not the cleanest raid, but I still came out victorious. To sum up, this video highlights the importance of adopting the right mindset before venturing into solo gameplay. Maintaining a positive attitude and embracing impending mistakes are key factors. Additionally, the absence of teammates in solo play eliminates concerns about being held back by others. Transitioning from squads to solo play allowed for easier adaptation to varying situations, whether it required a slower or more aggressive approach. By focusing solely on oneself and the enemies, one can navigate situations more effectively. These insights proved instrumental in overcoming solo anxiety in Tarkov. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. For more tips like conquering early life challenges in Tarkov, check out this video now.